Well, that was a good um, lead into the next one about Mike Matarat. So, yeah, people have been asking about your thoughts on his passing and. Uh, that's I, a shame. He's actually one of the nice guys. Like he was, like the let down to earth, no ego. Said it like it was. We travelled on the European tour together, him and I, and I'd always steal his food because he couldn't eat it. I'd always laugh at how big I'd get in the off season, calling me a tick. I was about to explode, but now we got on good. There's a picture of us on that golfing cart. I'm trying to remember where it was, but we we're somewhere doing a seminar together, and there was a golfing cart there, so we jumped on and stole it. And the photographer got a picture of us taking off on it, so he was a good guy. We well, had like the triple bypass 10 years ago, and then I think he was working for a bail bondsman up around Sacramento, somewhere up that way. You know, someone said he was on a waiting list for a transplant, but didn't quite make it. but. All the asshole bodybuilders make it, don't they? No, here's one of the good ones. We had fun on the European tour. I think he left the tour to come home early because his dad was sick. So we only did a few of the shows. But he was always down there in Venice. Yep. And how do you rate him compared to today's pros? And uh, considering... He was a little blocky, but you know, he had the freaky calves, freaky arms, and just had that mass. But blocky physique, but you know, the thing with Mike is... You know, the crowd loved him, he was a crowd pleaser. He had the personality where, you know, Mike, Tom Platts and all those type of guys, they never have to win a show because just their personality yeah. and people like him, they'll make more money than someone who was winning a show who had an attitude. So people flock more to them because, like I said, he never put himself on a pedestal. He just thought of himself like as one of anyone else that goes to the gym. So when you like that and people can relate to you, you're going to have a bigger fan following, which you always did. So that's why you see a lot of these guys now who were like that. Platts even now to this day probably has a bigger fan following than some of the current pros. So it just makes a difference. You know, if you just be down to earth and be yourself, people appreciate that more than being a stuck up egotistical prick. That's what I reckon. Oh, and having some personality. Yes. As long as it's a true personality, it's you. You don't have to fake it. I just wish I had a garage big enough at home. I keep saying the Jade so we could have all this equipment at home so we wouldn't have to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. The gyms are full of a lot of wankers these days, as you know. Can you like rust proof this shit so I can just put it out in the yard? Yeah. <laughs> Make it like an outdoor Venice beach. Just leave it out in the yard and mow around it. That'd be good. An outdoor gym, maybe put up one of those, those big outdoor Aussie shade things. Yeah. That'd be good in the backyard, wouldn't it? Have less grass to mow. Yeah, good idea. Not good for the last three months, <laughs> or last month, with all the rain. Yeah, that'd be okay though, as long as you have the Aussie shade thing up, a little bit will come through. <laughs> that'd be just like a mist, like someone spraying it on you. I'd like it. Oh, probably the best leg extension around. Too bad I've got to come here to do it. 